Hey, good morning. Good morning, friends. It's Friday, uh, September 16. Hope you're uh, doing well. Hope you have a nice weekend planned ahead. Uh, hope the weather is is uh, enjoyable, a little bit more so than, than the previous previous week had been uh, with the smoke and all. But um, yeah, hope, hope hope you have some good plans, and certainly hope that you uh, plan to join us on Sunday for worship. Be good to see you there. Uh, today we're looking at Psalm 81. Uh, we've been moving through the Psalms, uh, these, these several Psalms uh, in the 60s, 70s that, um, that really focus on the, the juxtaposition of the righteous versus the wicked, the comparison of the ways of the righteous versus the ways of the wicked. Uh, and talking about you know a very simplistic definition of those two words, righteousness being living in line with God's will um, and wickedness living against God's will. And uh, those are harsh terms in a way, at least the term wicked. Um, and, and those are harsh labels to place on people as a whole, which again, I'll say it over and over again, is where we have to step back and recognize that all of us have both of these aspects to our beings, right? There's parts of us that we live in line with God's will and all of us have ways in which we live against God's will. It's sort of why, well, that is why we do a prayer confession almost every week. Uh, or even if we don't have a formal prayer confession in our prayer time, we take a moment to, to sort of admit that, to recognize that we're, we, we, we've not always been who God would have us be. Well, anyway, in Psalm 81, we come, we're still in that mode of, these, of, of this comparison, and uh, or this, this compare and contrast type of exercise. Uh, but there's a piece of this one that actually has a bit of sort of a victory song to it. It's a psalm. It's a song of praise, and you'll hear that as we read that. So uh, we're, we're, we're moving a little bit more towards the uh, place of victory, the place of triumph uh, in our demeanor as we look at the psalm. So let's take a moment to uh, let's look at the psalm, and then I'll be, re- I'll be uh, leading us through our uh, daily office prayer for the day. Psalm 81. Sing for joy to God our strength. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Begin the music. Strike the timbrel. Play the melodious harp and lyre. Sound the ram's horn at the new moon. And when the moon is full on the day of our festival, this is a decree for Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. When God went out against Egypt, he established it as a statute for Joseph. I heard an unknown voice say, I removed the burden from their shoulders. Their hands were set free from the basket. In your distress, you called and I rescued you. I answered you out of a thundercloud. I tested you at the waters of Mirabah. Hear me, my people, and I will warn you. If you would only listen to me, Israel, you shall have no foreign God among you. You shall not worship any God other than me. I am the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people would not listen to me. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own devices. If my people would only listen to me, if Israel would only follow my ways, how quickly I would subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their punishment would last forever. But you would be fed with the finest of wheat, with honey from the rock. I would satisfy you. Let's um, take some time to pray for the day. We'll be moving through today, the September, uh, September 16th daily office prayer. Lord, Open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Through Jesus, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge God's name. Eternal God, we praise you for your mighty love given in Christ's sacrifice on the cross. And we praise you for the new life that we each have received by Jesus' resurrection. Today, Lord, we especially thank you for the presence of Christ in our weakness and our suffering. We thank you, Lord, for the ministry of word and sacrament.
We thank you, Lord, for all who help to all who work to help and to heal. We thank you for sacrifices of others made for our benefit. And we thank you, Lord, for the opportunities we have for generous giving and living. Friends, I invite you to lift up your own personal prayers of thanksgiving today for whatever you may be stirred to give thanks for. God of grace, let our concern for others reflect Christ's self-giving love, not only in our prayers, but also in our practice. Today, Lord, we pray particularly for all who are subjected to tyranny and to oppression. We pray, O oh Lord, for those who are wounded, or injured. We pray for all those who today are facing the reality of death. And we pray for those who may be our enemies. We pray for your church in Latin America. I invite you now, friends, to lift up your own individual prayers of intercession. Almighty God, you have made us in your image and crowned us with honor and glory. Shape us by your word and fill us with your spirit so that we may live as your beloved children and so that we may proclaim the good news of your saving love this day and every day through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, friends, good to be uh, with you this morning again. Hope you have a great weekend. Uh, look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Uh, God bless you. We'll see you soon. Take care.